So in this problem, we have G, which is the centroid of the triangle ABC. So we have a triangle ABC, and the centroid of this triangle is G. So the centroid is defined as the point of intersection of the three medians of the triangle. So let's say if we have the median defined as AD, BE, and CF, so these three medians are going to intersect to the point G. Fine. Now, it's also given here that we have another point P on the plane containing the triangle. So we're going to assume that the point P lies outside the triangle. So this is going to help us uh, perform the calculation easily. We can also consider the point to be lying inside the circle. Fine. Then we need to show that the following expression is true. So what we'll do here is we're going to specify the coordinates of the point. So let's start with A. So here we're going to consider that A has the coordinates x1, y1. Then B is going to have the coordinates x2, y2. And C is going to have the coordinates x3, y3. Then uh, we'll, we'll also define the coordinates of point P as x, y. Now here we can find out the coordinates of G because we know the coordinates of the vertices. So let's define the coordinate of the centroid of this triangle ABC. So if we have a triangle whose coordinates of the vertices are given by x1, y1, x2, y2, and x3, y3, then the coordinate of the centroid G is going to be given by the x coordinate will be simply take the sum of the x coordinate of each of the vertices and then divide it by 3. And to find out the y coordinate, we add up the y coordinates of each of the vertices and then divide by 3. Fine. Now, in order to show that the given expression is true, first what we'll do, we'll try to find out the length PA, PB, PC. All we have to do is take the help of the distance formula. So the distance formula is simply, so let me note it down. The distance for if we have two points A and B, then the distance between the two points as given by, we'll take the square root. Underneath the square root, what we need is the difference of the x coordinate. We'll take the difference of the x coordinate, square it and then add it to the square of the difference of the y coordinate. So that's how we can find the distance between two point uh, by using the distance formula. So let's begin by first finding out the distance PA. So to define PA, what we've done, we've taken the square root, underneath the square root, we take the difference of the x coordinate. So here, we are, the difference will be x minus x1 whole squared and add it to the square of the difference of the y coordinate. So that's simply y minus y1 squared. Next, what we'll do, we'll also find out PB as well as PC. So we have PB as well as PC. So the next step, what we'll do, we'll take the square of each PA, PB and PC and then add it with each other to get so we get x minus x1 whole squared added to y minus y1 whole squared plus x minus x2 whole squared plus y minus y2 whole squared and the rest of the term. Now what we'll do, we'll expand each of the terms because oh, we can use here the formula. So let's say if we have a minus b whole squared, so that expands to give us a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now let's perform the expansion. Now that we have the expansion, so what we're going to do, we're going to combine some of the like terms and rewrite the terms as. So this is the expression that we obtain for PA squared plus PB squared plus PC squared in terms of the coordinates of A, B, C as well as point P. Okay, now we'll go to the right hand side of the expression. We'll keep this aside for the time being and we'll try to figure out the a value for ga squared plus gb squared plus gc squared as well as 3gp squared in terms of the coordinates of a, b, c and p. So let us first begin by finding out the value of ga. Uh, g is the centroid and a is the vertex of the triangle a, b, c. Using the distance formula, the length ga that will be given by square root of, so since we need the difference of the x coordinate, so we are considering the x coordinate of g and from it subtracting the x coordinate of a. Squaring it and then adding it to the difference of the y coordinate, we start with the y coordinate of g and from it subtract the y coordinate of a and then square it. So that's the length g. And now we will find out the length gb and gc as well using the same technique. So we have expressed ga, gb, gc, gp. And the next step, what we'll do, we will square each of this length ga, gb, gc as well as gp and then substitute into this expression. So let's do that. So we have obtained the expression for g a squared plus gp squared plus gc squared plus 3gp squared. Now what we'll do, we can furthermore simplify each of the expression within the parentheses. So we have simplified 
So x1 plus x2 plus x3 over 3 minus x1 can be also expressed as x2 plus x3 minus 2 x1 over 3. So similarly, we have done this for all of the terms. Now what we'll do, uh, we can see here that there is 3 in the denominator of each of the terms. And we also have to square it, so that is going to make it 9. So that means we have a factor 1 over 9, which can be pulled out from each of the terms. Now that we have factored out 1 over 9 from each of the term, so what we'll do, we are going to take the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth term and we're going to expand it by using the identity. So that means if we have a plus b plus c whole squared, that simply equals to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Now coming to the last two terms, so here we have four terms and then we are squaring it. So what we can do, we can treat the first three terms, x1 plus x2 plus x3 as a single term and then from it subtract the near second term which is 3x and apply the formula a minus b whole squared which will be simply a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and then here the a which is uh, the sum of three terms so we will again perform this particular expansion here a plus b plus c whole squared and this is going to give us so all these terms now there will be certain terms which will get combined so let's combine all the like terms to get so here we have to simplify terms so after combining all the like terms now what we can do we can uh, divide each of the terms with 9 and that's going to give us the expression 3 times x squared plus y squared plus x1 squared plus x2 squared plus x3 squared plus y1 squared plus y2 squared plus y3 squared minus 2x times x1 plus x2 plus x3 minus 2y times y1 plus y2 plus y3 and we also obtain the same expression for the left hand side that was for pa squared plus pb squared plus pc squared thus we can say that pa squared plus pb squared plus pc squared that's equals to ga squared plus gb squared plus gc squared plus 3 times gp squared, hence proved.